Hey, Racer fans! It's winter in Indianapolis. What does that mean? It's time for our series to resume on tough guys, great races, great mechanics, great memories. Today, our subject, one of my all-time favorites, one of a lot of people's all-time favorites, Rufus Parnelli Jones. My apologies, I spilled lunch on his sweatshirt. I'm going to clean it later, Rufus. Um, I guess the best way to start the Parnelli Jones story is I was sitting on the pit wall with A.J. Watson once. A.J. Foyt walked by with Mario and... I said, hey Watson, who's the best Indy 500 driver you ever saw? And he said, I said, was it Bill Vukovic, Roger Ward, was it Foyt, was it Mario, was it the Unsers, Rutherford, Mears? Who was the best? He never batted an eye. He said, Parnelli Jones, hands down. I said, really? Parnelli Jones. So when you look at the statistics, you think, well, he only won one Indy 500 in 1963, but look a little deeper. He was only in seven Indy 500s from 61 to 67. He led five of them and could have won all five of those. He led 492 laps. Obviously, he got hit in the eye in 61. 62, he lost his brakes. 64, the car caught fire in a pit stop. He's, he's battling AJ for the lead. 67, he's got the thing in hand when the ball bearing breaks six laps from the end. So he could have easily been a three or four time winner. But he retires from IndyCar racing in his mid-30s so he can start a family. But he didn't retire from racing. He goes into Trans Am and... and Makes it one of the most successful popular sports for the next three years. Beating and banging with George Fulmer and Mark Donahue and Dan Gurney and the boys. Sweet Savage, Peter Revson. And then he takes on Baja and kind of reinvents himself as a desert racer, which just drives the popularity of that race off the chart. So everything he did, he won in stock cars. Obviously, he was a sprint car champion. He won the Ascot. He lapped the field at Ascot one night in the Turkey, in the Turkey Grand Prix, the USAC Midget Race. Turkey Night Grand Prix. Everything he drove, he was good at. But what's really cool about Parnelli statistically, this is my two favorite stats, he never spent one night in the hospital, he never tipped over a sprint car. Now think about that, those were the days, narrow tires, big ruts in the tracks, not a lot of safety, no roll cage, never tipped over once in a sprint car. I think that's pretty cool and I think he's kind of proud of that. Never spent a night in the hospital. Uh, they started to put him in in 64 after he got burned in the pit fire at Indy, but Ronnie Duman was burned a lot worse, so Rufus checked himself out, went and got him a six-pack, brought it back and shared it with Duman, which probably wasn't the best thing for a burn victim, but Parnelli didn't know much about medicine. It was just knew it was his buddy. He wanted to share a beer with him. All these great stories about Parnelli, and Bones Bossier's book is one of the best reads if you don't have it, just to tell about what a humble, great guy is. I've only heard him almost brag once, and I said... You know, Parnelli, as good a road racer as you were, it's a damn shame you never got to run Formula One. He said, oh, I had a chance to run Formula One. I said, really? He goes, yep. Colin Chapman asked me to be Jimmy Clark's B driver. He said, I was nobody's B driver. You got that right. He's one of the all-time greats. He's one of the most humble champions you'll ever meet. And I'm just so thankful I got to know him because he was one of my heroes growing up. I have Christmas Eve lunch with him every year, and we go to the same place every year, and the same people always greet him. But he always gets to ask for an autograph by two or three people, get his picture taken. We're driving back to his house, and he always says, I can't believe people still know who I am, and they still want my autograph for my picture. And I said, Rufus, that's because you meant so much to so many people. Just like AJ, just like Gurney, just like Mario, just like the Unsers, just like Rutherford, just like John Cock, just like all the guys in the 60s we idolized and all the guys we came to be became to be our friends and we're thankful you're still with us not walking as fast as you used to be but uh, I can just tell you this if AJ Watson said this guy was the best guy you ever saw in Indy good enough for me this is Robin Miller thanks for watching racer.com thanks for reading it we'll see you next week